Hey ladies, so I wanted to get on here because I just got done writing an email to my email list and it was, uh, if you're on my list, go check ch check it out because it was definitely more of a, a blunt, intense email and I just thought I'd get on here and kind of share a bit about what I wrote. And you know, what I have to say might offend some of you guys, uh, at least, yeah. So just know that all of this is coming from a place of love, like, and it's, you know, I'm saying that what I'm about to say are, is, a, is because I care. Like I, I'm a coach that cares. I care about people actually getting better, actually creating a better life for themselves. You know, I'm not here to, um, you know, just say things that you want to, or that you want, want to hear. I'm here to say things that you need to hear. And, you know, sometimes it's going to sting a little bit. And I'm just saying this also from personal experience because I go through this myself. And that's this idea that, you know, most women out there and just most people, right? But because I work with women, I'm just talking to women. Uh, most people are not committed to bettering, they, bettering their life, to creating a better life for themselves. Most women are interested in creating a better life for themselves. You know, they want a fit body. They want to... Um, they want to create, they say they want, they want to create more balance in their life. They say that they want more peace of mind. They say that they want to uh, stop tracking macros. They say that they want to break away from meal plans and counting everything. Um, you know, they say they want to feel better. They want to look better, all these things. But then when it comes down to it, their actions don't reflect what they are actually, what they're saying, you know, and they're instead, they're still obsessing over calories and macros and step count. Um, they're still doing diet plans. They're still restricting food. They're still um, starving themselves. They'll still, they're still choosing foods that they regret, you know, whether that be like a type of food or uh, eating more food than they, they actually need. Um, they are still putting themselves last, you know, and putting everybody first and, you know, just filling every single part of their day with just something to do as opposed to taking care of themselves. So there's, you know, it's just interesting to see, you know, people's level of commitment to what they say they want. And this is why that this is why I train the girls in, in the self mastery program to literally commit to the thing that they say they want to commit to their vision to commit to who they choose they who they want to be. And one of the things that I train my girls how to do is to commit to loyalty, like to being loyal to themselves, to being loyal to their vision, to being loyal to their goals, being loyal to taking care of themselves and really aligning behind um, the, the person that they choose to be in the life that they choose to create. And, you know, that's something that is trained. It's not like the reason why people fulfill things in their life, like high achievers or pro athletes or, you know, the reason why people get to where they want in life is not they weren't born with that quality. You know, it's not that it's just discipline and, you know, um, resilience. It's that those people actually trained that they honed those type of skills within them. They trained loyalty. They trained, you know, um, accountability. They trained themselves to. Uh, whether they're aware of it or not, to me, it's it's like a, it's a form of self-love. It's a matter of, you know, choosing what, you know, putting themselves first and, and making that number one, as opposed to just doing things for everybody else um, and just reacting in whatever way that, you know, you feel like reacting uh, and, and, and making that number one, making your, your, your vision of the body you want, number one, making the life you want, number one, making the person you choose to be, what you stand for, the habits you embody, you've got to make that number one. And so it's, you know, it's a form of self-love or a form of loyalty to yourself, you know? And so, you know, loyalty is really going and loyalty and self-love is really going all in on you, you know? And there's so many distractions and so many things that pull you away from from putting yourself first. And, you know, part of the this is why part of the, the one of the first things I do inside the self mastery program is teach women how to commit to themselves, how to commit to the things, the things that they say they want, you know, and and we do that by, you know, really training ourselves, training our mind and our and our our emotions to align with the person we choose to be. And 
And because like the thing is, is that most people who are, are not fulfilling the word, you know, committing to the word, committing to the things that they say they want, committing to the habits they want to embody, such as, oh, I don't want to track macros. Oh, I want to create more peace around food. Oh, I want to, you know, I want to um, work out or have a better, I want to enjoy working out more. Like most women are just saying those things. They're not actually committing to doing it. You know, part of it, it will be, you know, they don't have the strategy, which, you know, that is definitely helpful. But most of the times it's like people are just so quick to opt out of what they want, so quick to opt out of their vision based on how they feel, you know, in any moment or whether it, as soon as it gets hard, you know, or whether it's inconvenient, you know, it's like they'll have this plan of what they want and, how, and you know, what to do. But as soon as things get hard, or as soon as things get inconvenient, they're just so quick to be like, oh, whatever, like, I'm just going to eat this or oh, I'm not going to work out or oh, I'm not going to like take care of myself. I'm not going to meditate or, you know, spend some time taking care of myself, even though I know I really need it, you know. So and so again, like that's like a lack of self-love, a lack of loyalty to yourself, to to the things that, you know, are going to get you to where you want to go. But um, you can't get yourself to do them. So. And the, and the people that struggle to uh, commit to their word, I know this from personal experience, is that there's a pain that lives inside of you, you know, and, and, and they take this pain everywhere they go. So it's like you might have a smile on your face, you know, on the outside, but deep inside, there's like a pain that you just take everywhere you go because you're just, you're not, you're not, you can't trust yourself. You can't trust anything you say because you just, you just never follow through with the things that you say you want, with who you choose to be, you know, the habits you want to embody. And that, that pain, it, it can eat away at you, you know? And so long as you continue to allow that to be there, so long as you continue to not um, follow through with your word, to not be loyal to what you say you want, um, you're just, you can't create the, the the life that you want is just impossible to create. You just can't create it because you're just like a leaf in the wind, just changing whatever, you know, you're just making decisions based on how you feel in any moment, as opposed to what it is that you really want in your life. So for this reason, you know, this is why I train um, loyalty, self-love as number one inside the self mastery program. And and so it's just a good time for you to just kind of reflect and ask yourself, like, how committed am I really, you know, to my goals? Like, how com committed am I really? Most people, like I said, are just saying it, and then that's where it stops. As soon as things get hard, as soon as their emotion fluctuates, you know, the next moment they're just, they, they've they totally forgotten what they want. They, they, don't, they don't align behind the things that they say they want. So... What really helps is definitely a strategy, and this is part of the self mastery program. As I literally lay out the 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 step by step playbook on how to train yourself into the person you choose to be, how to train yourself into somebody that is fit and doesn't have to track macros or calories or steps or um, like make make the gym such a chore. Somebody that you know, uh, sets boundaries instead of just doing things for everyone else and putting themselves on at the end of the list. You know, there's, there's a certain way that that person who creates a fit body, there's a certain way that she thinks there's a certain way that she feels there's certain boundaries that she has. There's a certain way that she eats like that. She, there's a whole like system, right? There's a whole like roadmap. Um, and that is what we need to train. It's not about just getting a fucking diet and, you know, just trying to stick to a diet or some workout plan, if that worked, it would have worked already. You know, like you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be struggling with where you're at in your body and your life. It's all about training. You've got to train, align and rewire your thought patterns and your emotional patterns to align with a person that is living the life that you want. And that's what we do in the self mastery program. Mastery is about embodying the person you choose to be and the life you choose to know. And it's definitely not for everyone. It's for women, it, I mean, it's for people who wanna create a better life for themselves and are actually willing to show up and put in the work. So if that's you, if you're, if you're, if you're wanting a better life for yourself and you're willing to do the work, definitely apply for the Self Mastery Program. Today is the last day to apply. Um, it, applications will close tonight at midnight. So um, today's the last day to apply. So get your application in, 
click the link in my bio uh, to, to, to fill out the application. And then from there, I'll reach out to you, let you know if you made it to round two of the application phase. Um, and then I'll be selecting five women to join the self mastery program that starts in July. So super, super exciting. Um, but yeah, just kind of, you know, be honest with yourself and ask yourself, Hey, how command committed am I really? Because it's like, you know what, if you're not really committed, then maybe you just kind of stop saying that you're, that you really want these things and letting yourself down. Cause you're just damaging your trust with yourself. So it's like, you're either real, you're either all in committed to what you say you want or just don't even be, just don't even say it, you know? That way you're not creating that, you know, that pain inside you, you know? It's like, just cause, you know, that just sucks. So anyway, if you guys have any questions about Self Mastery Program or anything at all, just reach out to me. Uh, love you guys, hope you are having a great day. Much love.